Hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking to watch yet another video of mine. I appreciate you guys so much. If you are new here, hi, my name is Tammy. Welcome, please stick around. So today, I'm gonna to be talking to you guys briefly about this new foundation that I got from Instagram. You know, I figured let me try. Let me just give it a try. So this foundation is called Il Masquillage. Wait, wait, hold up. I totally pronounced that incorrectly. It's supposed to be Il Maquillage. Il Maquillage without the S. I don't know why I kept saying Il Maquillage. <laughs> so I just wanted to point that out. So please excuse me. Thank you. You know how we're all on it, people's stories and then the ads come on on Instagram. There was a time I was on it and then the ad popped up. You know, try this for 14 days and if you don't like it, you can return it. And I figured, you know, I might as well give it a try. And you're only paying for shipping. For me, I paid only $5.13 for shipping. And if I like it, I'm going to keep it. If I don't like it, I'm going to return it. I clicked on the ad or whatever and it transferred me to the website. It asked about several different questions about your skin type, skin tone, the combination, blah, blah, blah. Very specific and very in-depth questions. And it pretty much narrowed it down for me to that my shade is the 215, the Il Masquillage Flawless Foundation. Now, it did ask uh, what other foundation I used in order to like, I guess, narrow it down to the most accurate shade for me. And it was the Maybelline matte poreless foundation when i try it on it is exactly skin like but it's the right shade for me and it also recommended concealer for me it gave me 14 14.5 as far as the shade of concealer the il masquillage flawless foundation shade 215 goes with uh 14.5 concealer my favorite out of these two is actually the concealer i love the concealer way more than the foundation because I feel like I could easily just use other foundations with this concealer because the concealer is so good. The perfect concealer for my shade. I really like the fact that it works well. But the foundation is also amazing. I love the foundation. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is for, you know, those of you that might like a bit of more high-end that works, does what it says it's going to do, and it's worth the money. I feel like it's worth the money because I tried it a couple of times, actually three times, and gave me a consistent result each time. I'm just going to give you a few information about what this foundation is about. Oh, just one more thing. Anything that gets returned, I believe in their website, they say that it gets donated. So you're pretty much still doing good. You know, it's not being discarded or thrown away. Someone else that cannot afford it is going to get it. So for the foundation, it's called the Il Masquillage Flawless Foundation. I'm wearing, I'm gonna be wearing the shade 215 and the Il Masquillage BFF Concealer. I got the shade 14.5. The foundation cost $44 and the concealer cost $26. That's like a total of $70. There are some foundations, just one of it will cost $70. The foundation, the Il Masquillage Flawless Foundation comes in 50 shades. It's supposed to be buildable, blendable, uh, skin-like feel. It's a medium to full coverage. It's supposed to blur fine lines, redness, blemishes, and it's supposed to be a streak-free application and a lightweight feel and the concealer comes in 20 shade which is also great remember i said it costs 26 dollars for the concealer the concealer is supposed to reduce appearance of under eye circles dark spots discoloration blemishes creating a smooth uniform skin tone creamy and weightless blendable buildable moisturizing and breathable for crease free wear i didn't even need to use a powder because it literally just sort of blends right into your skin and just stays right on it without causing any creasing. That's really just amazing. I love that. Every time I put my makeup on, my tools are clean. They've been washed and they've dried. Make sure you always wash your tools. It really will make a difference in your foundation, in your makeup application and probably would get less breakouts too because you're using clean tools. So I would suggest if you have dry skin to either use a hydrating um, primer. Because I have combination skin, I used a hydrating primer in this video. And I usually use a poreless, creamy, hydrating primer 
I hardly use matte primer because when I use a matte primer, I get more oilier than usual. So I just use a hydrating primer or a beauty oil at the beginning of my application of the foundation and it makes a difference. Like I when at the end of I don't know seven hours wear, I don't get oily. I literally just get more dewy rather than greasy. So there's a difference. Just give that give it a try and you see but there's a bit of a difference when you use hydrating foundation, I mean a hydrating primer as opposed to a matte primer for a matte foundation. All right, that's the end of my chatter, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, also subscribe if you have not, and also share it if you can, I would appreciate that. so much for watching remember to always be thankful and i will see you on my one dollar makeup video which is the next one hopefully i don't know but i'll see you on my next video bye bye